Assalamualaikum, Madam Nolela and other classmates. Today, our group will like to present about Maybank. Okay, next slide. Our group consists of seven members, including me. My name is Raja and I will start with company background. Okay, next slide. Maybank or Malayan Banking Berhad was established by Ko Teck Puat, a Malaysian corporate billionaire. The company was led by President and CEO Tan Sri Amir Sham Abdul Aziz from 1994 until March 2008. Maybank act as an investment and retail bank and financial services holding business. Their product and services comprise long-term mortgage such as financing of project, short-term credit for overdraft, commercial finance, and payment-based services such as cash administration and the custodian. Okay, next slide. Next is vision and mission for Maybank. For Maybank, vision is advancing Asia ambition with you. For the mission, it divided to four, which is the first is providing the people with convenient access to financing. Second is having fair term and pricing. Third is advising customer base and on their need. Last but not least, being at the heart of the community. Okay, next I will pass to my other group mates. Thank you. Hi, I am Nosadia. So this is the internal factor evaluation metric for my bank. Uh, so as we can see, the table reveals that uh, the two most important factor for my bank to succeed in the banking industry are the size of the company itself and also the higher retention in which my bank is the largest bank in Malaysia with 2,200 branches and also a, a excellent client uh, retention with high checking account balance along with the profits of 2.39 billion this year. Note that my bank is also uh, doing its best on digital market and also market capitalization. Next. So, uh, however, uh, the Maybank is having the major problems uh, with its human resource management and also customer service as seen by the user complaints and also uh, low strength score. Thus, Maybank may want to increase or certain uh, its influence as it is uh, the most important factor by opening more branches uh, in worldwide. And the total weight a weighted score for Maybank in ISC is 2.82, which is above uh, average of 2.50. Next is the external factor evaluation metrics of Maybank. As we can see, it is observed that uh, the most important factor for Maybank is uh, including investment in banking and also loans. Uh, moreover, uh, note that the uh, important external threat for my bank is the monopoly of CIMB clicks by its competitors, which is CIMB. However, uh, the weighted score for EFT is 3.16, which is uh, beyond average, which indicates that the company's strategies are well prepared and well designed to meet the opportunities and defend uh, against threats. Hi, I'm Ikmalia. Next, I'm going to explain about Maybank competitive profile metrics, which show Maybank strengths and weaknesses against its competitors, which are CIMB Bank and Public Bank. Next slide. Next slide, please. <laughs> Okay, the first critical success is customer service. We can see that Maybank and CIMB Bank, customer service is one of their major strengths than public banks. The second one is product diversification. This is also one of Maybank and CIMB Bank's strength as they have a wider range of product to offer to their customers. Whereas public bank product and product or services, diversity is sufficient. In terms of market share, all Maybanks all banks have a high market share, implying that their products and services reach a wider audience. 
next is global expansion. Fairbank takes the lead in terms of global expansion with over 2,200 branches, followed by CMB Bank with 851 retail branches and Public Bank with 259 branches. Next slide, please. Proceed with electronic commerce. Many consumer value using Maybank to you. As for CIMB Bank Click and PB Engage, they still need a lot of improvement as many users have lodged complaints about them. For advertising, Maybank and CIMB Bank conducted a lot of advertising for their e-banking application, such as providing cashback, promotion and discount, while Public Bank did less advertising. Next, CMB Bank and Public Bank offer a higher profit margin to their consumers than Maybank. Thus, Maybank has a weakness in this area. Maybank and CMB Bank minus rank is also offering a greater product and services to customer to their consumer than Public Bank, which has caused consumer difficulties with its mobile application. Next slide, please. As for their management, Maybank and CMB Bank are better at managing their organization than public bank management, which has gained several complaints from the former employees. As seen, Maybank and CMB Bank are more competitive in terms of promoting their products and services in order to increase market share, whilst public bank is still lagging behind. Next, Maybank was successful in gaining customer loyalty by delivering exceptional products and services followed by public bank. CIMB Bank, on the other hand, has the lowest customer loyalty due to the frequent occurrence of cybersecurity issue. The last one is Maybank has the most branches, which are mainly located near office, malls, or uh, easily accessible public transportation. Public bank comes in second. However, CIMB Bank branches are more noticeable than public bank branches. Next slide. Thus, we can see that Maybank has the best score, indicating that Maybank is dominating in the banking industry and CIMB Bank is a close competitor. Next. Okay, thank you, Malia. Hi, I'm Daniel, and we are going to go through these four analysis metrics. Two of the most significant strategies are shown for each of the SWOT in this slide for the purposes of presentation. Meanwhile, other strategies are available in the reports. Strength opportunity strategies, Maybank will continue being the largest bank in Malaysia that people choice as nowadays financial services giving people the accessibility to conduct online transaction depending on customer data and demand in the system. By securing a large base of network in financial sector in Malaysia, Maybank also able to strengthen their network across ASEAN markets such as in Hong Kong as there are a higher potential in investment banking and the expectation of GDP growth increases amounted for 5.1% in 2021. Weaknesses operating strategies, operation concentrated in Malaysia, able Maybank to grow bigger than competitors and in loan percentage. Maybank also planning to expand their operation and network across ASEAN market that has potential for advancement in investment and countries that are experiencing fluctuating economic for such as Vietnam, Indonesia and Philippines. The Malaysian population of Muslim society also able Maybank to generate higher profit in Islamic banking services and use strategies in promoting lower rate of interest thus show the share price drop in second and quarter of the year. However, higher loan growth accelerates credit demand as customers expect lower interest rate for long time loan rate. Next slide, please. Next is the strategies for threats. Strength threat strategies, Maybank will continue to strengthen their presence in ASEAN market as one of the top banking institutions with wide network banking operations by operating according to current global economic policies. Also, to applying higher standard in management and operation to ensure their reputation as the top largest bank by offering something unique in their diverse range of products and services that differs from other major bank competitors. And last, business strategies. Maybank engage with stakeholders particularly lawyer customer, suppliers, and investor 
on a regular basis to provide a clear picture of the banking sector and to improve customer experience on their mission to be the people favorite commercial bank. By implement a better and the highest standard of banking security, also provide the safety of customer data and the development of e-banking services in Maybank. A clear view of e-banking development can be seen especially during COVID-19 nowadays as people rely on services online. Thank you. All right. Um, so, uh, hi, my name is Mazwana. So, I'm going to explain about the strategic plan. So, um, next, next. Okay, so I'm going to explain about the direction of Maybank. Uh, the Maybank's long-term goal is to become the ASEAN leading provider of retail and commercial financial services. As a result, Maybank has become the largest Malaysian bank in terms of market capitalization and a total assets as well as one of the largest banks in Southeast Asia. So the transformation efforts and strategy have been implemented to ensure that the Maybank maintains its clear leadership positions. The strategy is known as the M25, which explains the financial services providers' aims and strategy. Its purpose of humanizing financial services that express three elements. First, which is ROE, return on equity. Second is a top rated customer experience. And the last one is the ESG, which is a regional environmental, social and governance leader. So that's the M M25 focus towards their purpose in which now has been updated to the reflect of the company long-term objective and a new operations landscape. In order to deliver this sustainable ROE with the aim of delivering a top rated cost consumer experience, this strategy goes with Draft Maybank towards achieving its three corporate strategy trash, which is prefer ASEAN Bank, global leader in Islamic finance, and Asia leading ASEAN insurer. It is critical for Maybank to successfully implement those strategies during this pandemic. So next is, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about the market in Maybank. Uh, it comprises of three parts, which is the target market, market needs, and the market growth. First of all, Maybank provides both individual and company with banking services. The group offer products and services such as commercial banking, online banking, investment, Islamic banking, and other financial services. Okay, let's jump to the main part. As for the Maybank target market, they include SME, private entities, investor, entrepreneur, non-profit organization, investor, and a government institution that require financing and a banking solutions. Uh, as for the market needs, Maybank products and services are centered on their consumer needs and satisfactions. Maybank has been focusing on the digital experience and thus adheres to the industry best practices in both technology and banking. Maybank to you is one of the examples of the digital experience that it has offered. However, Maybank business process are not only concerned with the profit margin but also providing an excellent consumer services. Lastly, as for the market growth, Maybank has set a target on return on equity ROE approximately 9% for the fiscal year ending December 21. They expect its group uh, loan growth to accelerate as credit demand rises in conjunction with the expected economic growth. They also have the opportunity to expand its consumer base through online banking. Maybank also restructured its uh, strategy to look at the possible investment opportunity and procurement target with a detailed understanding of the company's strategy, operational and financial performance. So I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Hi, my name is Iwani and I will proceed to the market advantage. Maybank has several market advantages in the industry. First, Maybank is the inventor of the user-friendly website called maybank to you Millions of registered users use the website. The website allows many transactions and benefit people. It has also widened the scope to corporate and business such as maybank to e and maybank to ubiz Second, Maybank offers variety of products and services. Maybank has Islamic Financial, Maybank Islamic Berhad for insurance, etika, and for investment, Maybank Investment Berhad. Third, Maybank has highest number of ATM machines. There were 296 ATM available around Malaysia that strategically located at the public areas. The MEPS function included also will inc increase the number of transactions. Fourth, Maybank is the pioneer bank that launched QR code payment called Maybank QR Pay. Customers just need to scan their unique business QR code given and payment can be done. Maybank has done first partnership with KFC and also have benefited more than 450,000 merchants. As for partner with e 
e-commerce platform, COVID-19 pandemic has influenced e-commerce trend and customer behavior. Maybank took advantage and partnered with Shopee, the famous shopping platform and produce Maybank Shopee credit card that able the customer to collect the Shopee coin. As for pioneer of cardless withdrawal service, it allows Maybank users to withdraw cash from ATM without card but with daily limit. It will also benefit Maybank to users that forget loss or have issue with the card. Next slide. Next is there are few resources that Maybank needed to succeed. Okay, the first is the full support from top management. They are important as they are the decision maker. They need to provide sufficient budget, clear objective and realistic schedules. Second, skilled workforce in delivery services. Maybank need to hire qualified candidates to be their employees so that professional and competitive employees can be developed. Third, advanced technologies and sophisticated system. The price is high, but it will benefit and save the cost as in the future, Maybank has numerous online banking services. Fourth, effective communication with customer. Maybank need to utilize all available sources and medium to spread the, commun the communication and information. The collaboration with IT and marketing department can be done. Next slide. There are a few resources that Maybank needed to compete. First are skills such as management, influencing, and conceptual. Second is asset such as workforce and product. Third is finance to maximize the profit. Fourth is relationship for the customer and the stakeholder. Fifth is a technical competence for customer service. Sixth is facility for branch and digital platform. As for progress and changes, Maybank do improvement based on needs in offering quality financial products and services. Maybank utilize resources and opportunities to remain competitive and sustain in the industry. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Hi, I'm Mama Izzuddin. So I will continue to the business competition environment. We have four uh, factors. First is technology environment. Previously, conventional banking required use of the white paper to initiate the transaction, but now, e-banking become competitive advantage among the competitors since it reduced the transaction time, investment information, and online uh, registration. Second is natural environment. Malaysia is one of country with least natural disaster and pollution. The stable environment can least affect the mass uh, of the asset and properties. However, it will attract many foreign banks to establish business in Malaysia and it will create the competitive environment. Third is social environment. Through the CR, CSR program, Maybank has created the foundation that assists not only the local community but also people who are developing nation who are less fortunate. This foundation will create culture that provide opportunity and goal that generate economy value. Fourth is the political environment. Maybank is a government-owned bank was established 1969 under GLC Transformation Program. This Maybank has been quickly increasing its worth as the country has progressed into the industrialization. However, if the political environment is not stable, it will affect to the performance and the business environment. Next is the measure of success. The bank and customer connection can be the key success. The CRM, customer relationship management, is the component that used to allow to go to beyond the existing compliant customer expectation by anticipating the future need in the proactive way. And it also can fulfill customer satisfaction. So next, I will pass to the next presenter for the conclusion. Okay, we can conclude that organization change in various way. Therefore, each organization requires an absolutely strategy to be evaluated in order to maintain it up to date. So although Maybank has a strong position in the market, sometimes organization that huge in the global present need always focus to sustain their survivability in the future. So our recommendation is that Maybank can enforce market penetration where Maybank can aim through the increasing marketing strategy to the greater market share for existing 
product and services in the current current market condition. Okay, that's all from our group. Thank you.